Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about how to install Optimizely SaaS on our local developer machines. First of all, I'm on the developer documentation site of Optimizely. So if you scroll down, you will be able to find all the documentation related to the tools that Optimizely is providing. So in for this video, we are installing uh, CMS SaaS. So we'll jump on to the CMS SaaS part. Here it, it has given the two links. One is for the documentation, other is for the API reference. Just go into the documentation part. This will navigate us to the, uh, to the page where you will find all the information about the Optimizely SaaS CMS, about its features, about its key tools, about the advantages it is providing, workflow, and, and much more. So if you see on the left-hand side, you will see the developer section. Under the developer section, we have a plan, build and render. And more under the plan section, you will be able to find the installation guides for different type of uh, installation you want to do. They have installation for the creating the demo, demo site using CMS, SAS, and Versal, demo site using uh, CMS, SAS, and uh, Netlify. Muzi Bank demonstration site, blank site instance, and the Visual Builder repository. So there are different type of repository that they are providing. You can choose based on the requirement that you are having. Right? For this video, we are installing the first one, which is a create a demo site using CMS, SAS, and Versal. If you click on this link, this will navigate us to the GitHub repository that they are having under the API server. So this, this GitHub repository, if you see this, this is updated like two weeks, two weeks ago. Now, if you go back to the documentation, you will be able to find on the left-hand side, 2024 CMS SAS release notes. If I click on this release notes, so if I see here, the last time uh, any changes that happened to uh, CMS SAS was like December 19 which is like almost two, kind of two weeks away, right? And this repository was also updated two weeks away. So um, it, it looks like we are having this one as a like latest one, right? Where we can find all the uh, latest changes that they have provided. So this is the latest one. So we are good to use this for an installation. So first of all, we have to like clone this uh, repository on our local. Let's get started. do on my so i am doing going to do in on my c drive and optimizely folder so i like doing it with the uh git gui if you want to do it with the command prompt you're good to go clone existing let's name it YouTube, SAS, CMS. It will not take much time to clone, so. open the clone solution in my VS code if you can see now let's go to the uh, CMS SAS part if you open this uh, login into the CMS SAS you will be able to see this kind of view so I am having access to like three environments like you you will be able to find the environments when you click on this you will you will find this optimizely content management system and uh, by hovering on that, you will be able to find the environments that you are having access to. So for now, we are in the production one environment. And here you are able to see the content tree. Here we are having the root and uh, we are having the Muzi bank 
node and under the Mozibank node, we have the pages, but these belong to some other side. So just ignore this for now. So there are two parts, parts to installing the solution on our local, right? First thing, first thing we already done, that is cloning the solution. Now what we need to do is we need a database. Uh, we need a database to be installed on our uh, CMS to make the things work and uh, so that we can see the site, correct? So if you go into the GitHub repository here only and scroll down, you will be able to see this initial data, dot epi server data. So this is a data that we are going to uh, import on our CMS to make the things work uh, as a demo site. So let's click on that and download. And if we go here, so it's been downloaded Yeah, If you go here, you will be able to find a couple of options here. In the last option, that is a settings option, click on that. In under the settings, we are having the import and export. Here, there is an option to export data. If you click on here, you will be able to find what you need to export. So you want to export the content items, content types, tabs, blueprints, style, setting, anything. So if you want to export the content items, just select it and click on export. Same goes for, for the others. If you want to export everything, just select everything and export. For now, we are we need to import the data for make our demo site work. So let's go to the import data, choose the file that we have just downloaded from the GitHub repository, select it, open. So this the second option is select content destination where you are going to install this one. So let's say we are going to install under the under the root, select for. We are going to install all the languages. If you want to select, uh, install, like import the uh, specific language, then you can select it here. Um, I'm doing it for all. So begin import. This also will not take much time, so it will be done. So basically, this is based on the data that you are having. If you are having the more uh, larger amount of data, uh, depending on the size of the file. So the time is based on that. So for us, it, it, there wasn't many, much data. So number of the content items were one, blueprints three, content types 34, tabs three. So there wasn't much data. So it just uh, imported within minutes or even seconds. Let's go to the editor again. At this point, we are having the data under the home node. And we are having the next year site that we have cloned earlier. The next step is to connect these. How we are going to connect this? If you go in the next year solution, you are able to find under the apps folder, then the front end folder, you, you will be able to find the .env file instance. So there are some of the variables that we have to input like your CMS domain, API client ID, secret, then we have a, graph secret here for the graph, uh, optimizely graph to work uh, and others, right? So let's make a copy of it. And rename it as .env.local. Cool. And run yearn install but before running that we need to go to the location where our next js app is present it's present under the apps and front end let's go in that that folder now run yearn install so it will install the required packages Meanwhile, it is installing the packages. Let's go here. So as we have already imported the data into our instance, which is under home, now we need to create the site settings for that. 
for that you need to go under the settings then the applications and then create an application under that let's name it as demo start base uh, you can create a new one or you can just place it based on the existing one we are going to give start base as home to set it here create so now when we have created the application the url uh, there is no url coming in here so we need to add the url what what's there in our local I'm moving back to my local. So now the yearn install is done. Now the next step is run yearn dev command. So if you can see here, our local is running at localhost 3000. Cool. Let's open it here. And we are having our local site up at 3000. Now we, we need to make uh, this work in our CMS too. Let's go back to our CMS. So couple of uh, minutes back, we have created this application by going into the setting and then application, we have created this one. Here earlier, the URL was empty. Now we know the local host 3000 was a URL. So just go into the hosts add the host name as localhost 3000. Our site is not running on HTTPS, but on HTTP. So let's uh, uh, uncheck this box. For the language, we are going to uh, mark as EL language and add. Cool. Now we're able to see the protocol language and the host name. If we go back here, we are able to see the URL. Cool. So let's go to the editor back. Go to the home node. So it is giving 404 here. If we go back to our uh, local, we are able to see that it is saying the item could not be loaded from the optimizely graph. So there can be some mismatch in the graph. So what we need to do is we need to sync the graph for making this thing to work. Let's go to the settings again and then to the schedule jobs we are having a full synchronization and the delta synchronization here. Let's do the full sync. So sync is done. So it says it was completed in three minutes. 
So let's go back to the editor and again check the home node. Now it's working. If you can see here, it's all good to go. The page is loading. And if you can check the other pages, like the services page, you will be able to see the services page here. Boom. And then the charity and donations page. So all the content you can add it or edit it from the fields that are displaying in here. If you scroll down, there is, sex, there is a settings portion which says when it was published, created or modified. You can update the modified date by clicking on this. Uh, this will update all the time when you press edit any item. Similarly, you can check the other pages that it is having. That's it for installation. If you find this video useful, please hit the like button. And if, if you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.